I have an Airfield A4 with a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and I'm going to go through the binding procedure. On the transmitter here you have the on off power switch here and then you also have a bind button located right here. For the receiver I'm going to zoom in here. What we have is a four channel receiver. It starts with channel one at the bottom and then goes up to channel four. The bind port is channel one so I'm going to remove the plug for channel one. Okay, And uh, I've got a bind plug here. Uh, I'm not sure if this kit came with a bind plug or not. I just happen to have one for a uh, Spectrum. Uh, most of the systems that supply bind plugs, they're, they're kind of all the same. What they are is they're, they're a wire that is shorted between the, the two ends, the two far ends. So if you don't have a bind plug, you can always make one from a servo extension or a spare servo wire where you short out the, the, the two far ends. Okay, you can see that a little bit better right there. Okay, so I'm going to plug that into the channel 1. Okay, you can actually see on the receiver it says bind and it's pointing to channel one. Okay. So the procedure is have your transmitter turned off. Okay, it's on. Now it's off. Okay, the light's off. That is turned off first. I've got the bind plug in there on channel one. So then I plug in power. Okay, you're not going to see anything just yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down the bind button, okay, and I'm going to turn it on, okay. Once you see the green light on the receiver going solid, okay, it's done its it's finished its bind process, okay. So the green light turned on, and then it finished initializing the rest of the system, okay. So now it is now bound to this transmitter. I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time, okay? I've got the bind plug in here, okay? Transmitter is turned off. I'm going to plug in the battery pack, okay? There's no lights on the receiver. I'm going to hold down the bind button and then turn it on and hold it down until that light turns solid and then I hear it initialize the rest of the plane. Now it is bound. All right? To show that, I am going to unplug the receiver. I'm going to unplug the bind plug here. Put the channel 1 back in. Okay. Turn off my transmitter. Turn it back on. Plug that in and it's communicating. My ailerons work, my elevator works, my nose steering works even though I've pulled out the nose gear, and my throttle works. And that's the bind procedure.